Hey guys, so today I'm going to review Linea Joys on the Xetu Plus and show you the performance, battery life, and what are the features. And can you use it as your day to day driver? So, starting with the UI design, as you can see on the home screen, when you swipe left, you will see the Google search menu, and on the right are the applications. There is an app drawer while swiping it up, and as you can see, the notification bar is right now on dark mode. So, now when you use actually decrease the size of the alarm or the clock, clock on the desktop thing is it doesn't work properly and there is a bug in which you won't be able to see the 10 am sign now there are some good features on the home settings which are not available in most of the custom homes some of them are like you can change the grid size you can actually show the icons labels on the settings and actually you can actually swipe down to show notifications or you can disable it so there are some other features uh, as you can see like this one is one of the most useful one you can actually hide and protect apps using password or as your fingerprint or pattern you can also change the icon shapes and you can also also change the notification dots the colors icons and you can actually disable them if you want to so this is how the home screen is and how the settings are so now this is one of the best features that is about home screen on Lineage OS. Other than that, it doesn't differ from other custom ROMs, as you can see. Now when we get to notification panel, there are some good features about it and let me show you. As you can see, in every custom ROM, you can actually customize them using by swiping them up or down. So there are some extra features right here like volume panel, system profiles and gray scale, which you can use and there is a specific reading mode which you can use at night if you are a reader normally and you when you click on it it does include in the menu and you, you need to swipe it up swipe it down to deselect from the menu as you can see so the icons are quite well quite adjusted and actually you can you can't change the grid size here though it is it is going to be a bit of problem for someone now let's talk about the features so there isn't a specific menu about features on the lineage os so you can actually search it up uh, if you you can actually search out if you want to use any features. So now let me show you where are the features. So when you go to the system settings, now as you can see button, system profile, status bar, and gestures. So here are the features which are available in the Lineage OS. So now when you click on buttons, you can actually enable the notification uh, on on screen navigation bar. So you can actually dis disable it. Some of the useful features which are not uh, available in other custom ROMs which are available here are long press for torch so okay sorry uh, so the rule is you need to close your smartphone and you can actually you can uh, long press the power button to use uh, to open your torch as you can see so let me oh, just let me close the torch so as you can see this was one of the useful features which could come in handy so now you can actually you can answer the phone calls by directly clicking on the home button you can even customize your home menu by uh, even the swipe right, swipe left uh, gestures. You can actually open specific apps like you know camera, turn off the screen, launch camera, in-app search, voice search. These are the kind of gestures available if you want to use them. So there are features like answer call, control, playback, uh, playback, and keyboard cursor control, and uh, some other features. Now let me click on additional buttons and as you can see you can actually uh, wake up your phone by directly through fingerprint or you actually can use the proximity sensor. So now let me show the status bar. So actually quick pull down menu is available if you want to use it. Traffic network indicator. So that is something specific here which I want to told you, tell you. You won't be able to use uh, transit from uh, kb, uh, kilobytes per second to me megabytes. You can actually see specific uh, terms in uh, speed like if you're going to select kilobytes everything is uh, gonna appear in kilobytes so let me show you uh, let me download a specific specific application like call of duty and uh, now see the speed now i'm getting a speed of around 5000 kilobytes so actually it should appear like 5.1 mbps but what is what it appears like is 501054 uh, kbps and when you download uh, the application it will actually appear in the in the app drawer like it does appear in the iphone so these are kind of some features which are normally not seen in uh, not available in any other custom rooms 
but are specific here. There are some other common features like in alarm clock. Uh, you can actually change the icon of battery uh, in a percentage and the brightness slider. So now uh, there are some gestures available, and you know these are kind of features. Some, some features available. Now when you click on update, there are some updates. I don't know. They are actually pushing out updates every single day, but some of them are real. Some of them are the same updates. But you know, as, as you can see, uh, there are some updates available, and uh, you can actually download them through OTA. So now let's see the other settings. So now display settings, live display is available. So now as I said before, you can actually turn on the reading mode if you like to read ebooks uh, on your smartphone. This is kind of features which come in handy uh, at night. So there are some other settings which are normally available everywhere in any other custom homes. Like how to you can actually dis uh, change the font size, display size available as you can see. There are some other settings like rotation settings, uh, expanded desktop which are normally available on every custom room. When we go in sound, the, the settings are still same. But there is a touch vibration like haptic feedback available for keyboard when you are going to type. So these were the features on the Lineage OS. Now when we get to benchmarks, 148000 is a kind of a good score and I am not worried about it. And the CPU Geek bench, bench score like 1700 and 3792 on the multi, uh, multi score is quite well though it does not affect the performance and i have been using this rom for around two weeks and i can tell you the performance is quite well there is not a big deal uh, there is not net, not an issue uh, while using specific uh, kind of applications you can use social media applications or even other applications like twitter telegram hike whatsapp instagram youtube browse and browsing uh, while simultaneously will be fine so you won't be uh, seeing any uh, stutters in between and the multi uh, the multitasking is also fine so let me show you by opening some set of applications and uh, how does it work so as you can see I'm opening uh, sort of applications like files telegram Twitter and some other applications and calculator so these are some uh, normal applications which you, which you use and you don't close while uh, uh, using them down you know like there are uh, certain type of users some users actually close down every application after using it some actually does not close a single application and when you open your uh, the recent menu you will see around at least 15 to 20 applications uh, on side so you know sometimes uh, you may see that your phone may stutter but uh, it wasn't a case with uh, lineage os as you can see every application is working fine and everything is, is in memory so there wasn't a problem while using it so now when we get to the gaming part of this rom i have actually uploaded a specific video about it on youtube just about a week ago you can actually check it out uh, on the right hand side the link will be given there so the battery life on this custom rom wasn't a good part of it i was getting around 5 hours of sot and that isn't a very good score when we talk about 3500 mAh in zhuxia 2 plus on every other custom rooms i was able to get around five high and a half to six hours of sot on medium usage but on linear OS, i was able to get less than that and i'm talking about medium usage i'm not even talking about playing pubg so when i talk about medium usage it includes watching youtube videos using some social media applications like instagram whatsapp and some other applications browsing through web for some hours in total uh, i was able to get around five hours of sot it wasn't uh, it wasn't good but wasn't worst at all it's just fine so when uh, when we talk about the bugs on this custom homes there are some bugs a uh, few bugs which i could uh, tell you there was actually kind of a connectivity issue while using wi-fi bluetooth and hotspot so actually uh, bluetooth was fine so hotspot has been fine for now but the wi-fi if you are going uh, the range of wi-fi while using or this custom home on this custom home wasn't great so i have been using wi-fi for a good long time and you know the range of 5y which i was able to get wasn't that good and even the advanced reboot option is available in the developer options in this one so if you want to enable, enable it you can actually go in developer options and enable that so there is a thing if you're going to install any application not from google play store but from your uh, internal storage or sd card uh, it will it won't appear as an icon and it will appear as an android uh, let me show you by so actually oh so this application has been installed 
so let me uninstall an application and uh, let's see pexomatic so i will uninstall this application and reinstall it and i will show you that it will appear as an android sign uh, down below in the app drawer it won't appear as a normal application and you won't be able to use it for some time so there is a major bug uh, which i don't like right now and you know if you are normally going to install applications from your memory card or sd card or internal storage it will be a problem for you so let me show you the installing installation will take some time there are some other bugs like the battery life as i said before is around five hours not a good one but not not the uh, worst either but as you can see now it isn't a good thing oh. so you know now as you can see it is a, the pexomatic has been available right here upside so when you are going to install some applications uh, not from the play store they will appear as an android icon on the, in the uh, app drawer so it's going to be a bit of you know fast for you because you know you won't be able to use those applications by clicking on them and you uh, you know you will you will need to wait some time to use them even actually when you uh, opt out you when you take out your sim tray the phone is going to uh, lock the lock screen automatically so it's a good safety feature for anyone who is going to use the phone and it's not a bug but it seemed annoying to me so now let's talk about the last word now when we talk about the final verdict that is it a day to day driver is it good for it or you could actually go for some other custom norms now if you are a normal user who use some social media applications youtube and you know add casual uh, movies and you know or songs in between around the day it is fine completely fine but if you are going to play pubg on it i would consider some other roms instead of this one because the charging decrease on this custom rom is uh, quite more when we compare it to some other custom roms as if you are going to play uh, pubg on it you won't be able to play more than 4 games on it and the battery will run out so if you are not a gamer and if you want to use it in your day to day life and you know you don't use it like more applications and you're you're a medium user it will be fine you can you can actually experience uh, the power of lineage os as it is one of the best roms available in the market and one of the oldest also so now let me show you the booting animation of lineage os on jig z2 plus so this is the booting animation of lineage os and as you can see the booting time is around more than 1 minute that is also quite more than any other custom roms which i have been testing on this smartphone though when when your smartphone starts you will need to use your fingerprint as well as the pattern you normally register while you uh, start start your smartphone for the first time so if you are going to if you you will need to remember if you forgot the pattern it might be a problem for you so do make sure for that as i was not able to find a way to actually disable that so that is that's it for this video please like subscribe and hit that bell icon and please do comment down below which type of videos we want to watch next thank you for